In the region of the moon where Chandrayaan-3 has landed, there is sunlight for 14 days, followed by absolute darkness for another 14 days. India has now become the fourth country to successfully land on the moon, following Apollo 11, which took only three days to reach the moon. So, why did Chandrayaan-3 take 40 days? The successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023, has raised numerous questions. The journey into space began with the Soviet Union's Luna 2 spacecraft, which made the first landing on the moon in 1959. Since then, a series of powerful nations have embarked on missions to explore the moon. Now, the question arises, what has Chandrayaan-3 accomplished that has garnered much attention worldwide? Firstly, India is the first country to successfully land on the moon's south pole. The South Pole, with its countless craters, large boulders, and treacherous crevasse, is shrouded in perpetual darkness for the most part. The absence of direct sunlight in this region leads to the formation of shadows in these craters and large boulders, making the surface extremely challenging to navigate. Moreover, the shadows in the South Pole are so extensive due to the limited presence of sunlight that it is believed to contain water ice. While scientifically fascinating, this presents significant challenges for exploration. The most considerable challenge faced here is communication. South Pole exploration requires meticulous planning and precise communication due to the complexity of the terrain and the shadowy conditions. Considering the difficulty and potential risks of landing and conducting operations on the Moon's South Pole, one may wonder why it is necessary. The straightforward answer is that, it paves the way for future space missions by addressing and resolving the challenges faced in this region. Launching a rocket into space from Earth's gravity is a colossal challenge for any space mission. To lift a rocket off the ground, an astonishing 5,000 kilograms of fuel is burned in just one second. Now, imagine how much fuel it would consume until the rocket reaches space. To make these challenges more manageable, scientists have proposed a solution. Why not build a base on the Moon? The Moon's gravity is significantly lower than that of Earth, which means that if space missions are launched from there, they could require significantly less fuel. However, the dilemma remains, where will this lunar fuel come from? Or if there is a source, how can it be harvested efficiently? As you may have learned, there are concerns about the presence of water ice at the Moon's south pole. If it exists, it could potentially be separated into oxygen and hydrogen, both of which can be used as rocket fuel. Additionally, this water could serve as a resource for drinking and other purposes on the lunar base. Furthermore, there is speculation that helium-3 might be present in lunar south pole resources. Helium-3 is highly valuable for nuclear fusion reactors. If helium-3 resources were found here, it could also be used to generate energy through nuclear fusion, as it is an extremely rare resource on Earth. All these scientific prospects have motivated powerful countries to consider lunar exploration, with India's Chandrayaan-3 recently making history with a successful landing on the lunar south pole. And what's truly astonishing is that just three days ago, Russia's Luna 25 crashed on the lunar south pole. But why did Apollo 11 complete its journey to the moon in just three days, while Chandrayaan-3 took a full 40 days? The truth lies in priorities. Apollo 11 was a crewed mission, meaning it was the first spacecraft intended to land humans on the moon. Its priority was to safely transport astronauts to the moon and back. This is why the propulsion system of Apollo 11 was designed to achieve tremendous speed in a short time to escape Earth's gravity. On the other hand, Chandrayaan-3 didn't carry any humans. It's a research mission with a different focus, aiming to achieve scientific objectives rather than a quick landing. Therefore, Chandrayaan-3 didn't need to rush to reach the moon, its mission priorities were centered around scientific goals. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to wonderful stories, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next amazing video.